Governor Stitt signs a new bill into law allowing more ride on scooters on the road. With current gas prices, these scooters could be our next way to get around. News 9's Tevis Hillis breaks down how it will work. Well, this law specifically targets gas or electric scooters, 50 cc in engine size or smaller, and must be 35 miles per hour or less. It makes them much more accessible and affordable by having a little bit less licensing requirements, insurance requirements, and things like that. Well, unless required by local ordinances, these low speed models would require no driver's license, insurance, or registration. These scooters could also be operated by anyone 14 years and older, similar to an e-bike. Now, State Senator Brenda Stanley authored this bill saying, quote, getting up to 110 miles per gallon, these scooters are a fuel efficient option for citizens making local commutes. Now, she had some help working on this bill from someone who knows scooters all too well. I just wanted something that was fun and affordable for citizens. I think at a time where gas prices are exceeding $4 a gallon, we need, like, affordable transportation. The goal was to give Oklahomans a different way to get around. Now, if the speed of the bike or scooter goes over 35 miles per hour, that'll be considered a motorcycle change in law you'll fall under. But for people jumping on a Freedom or Vespa, helmets are required for those 18 years and younger. They started about uh, $2,500. They get up to 110 miles per gallon of fuel economy. This law goes into effect November 1st. The city does have the ability to regulate these scooters even more. So check out with your city before you hit the roads. For Oklahoma Zone, I'm Tavis Hillis.